Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Beeline to Victory podcast. Big week for Michigan basketball. So, uh, this is episode 29. We will get going. So, we'll start with just talking about the run as a whole to the Final Four. I'll recap the game against Florida State and preview the game against Loyola with details, keys, and my pick. So, last Saturday, Michigan was cutting the nets down in Los Angeles with a win over Florida State. Really a miraculous run for this team. Going into the year, I'll just look at this year as a whole for a little bit. This team is supposed to be a fringe tournament team. They had a good player in Mo Wagner. Looked like he was going to stay for one more year and then go. Hopefully it's not looking like that anymore. Uh, nobody knew Rockmont could play this well. Nobody knew Charles Matthews was this good. Everybody has come out of their shell and played to the best of their ability, and it's really been impressive. And even when they have a night against Florida State when they don't shoot very well, they win. This run, I mean, they didn't shoot well against Montana, but that wasn't a good team. Didn't shoot well against Houston. Jordan Poole caps it off with a amazing buzzer beater shot. They shoot well against A&M, and they kill them. They didn't shoot well against Florida State, and they hang on to win that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable run and unbelievable coaching job this year by Beeline. By far his best coaching job. In 2013, they had a really talented team. I mean, they had six NBA players in that team. This team maybe has one NBA player on the team, and they're going to the Final Four. And this is amazing. It really is. Amazing run. And I'm glad to be able to watch it. It's really been great. Great season so far. Hopefully it continues. So uh, against Florida State, here um, they didn't shoot well. Very they didn't shoot very well. They won the game fifty eight fifty four. Um, it was back and forth pretty much the whole game. They made a Michigan made a run towards the end of the game. That Duncan Robinson three was fantastic. I was I was so relieved when he hit that, but then they almost gave me a scare down the stretch with missing free throws. But they pulled it out. They find a way to win. They really didn't shoot well at all. They were getting a lot of good looks. They were stagnant at times, but when they got good looks, they just weren't hitting them. Can't ask for much more than that. It's not your night. It's not your night. And, I mean, it didn't matter. This team pulled through. John Beeline kept them kept them engaged. They were able to win this game somehow, somehow, some way. Played great defense. The defense for this team has been the calling card all year. It needs to be the calling card if we're going to win this thing. I mean... This, that defense in that game, that was one of the best defensive performances I've ever seen as a Michigan fan. Unbelievable. Unbelievable to, against the, in an Elite Eight game to shoot so poorly from the field and play such great defense to still win the game. Unbelievable. Real, it's fantastic. I've never seen anything like it. This team, this team is special. Whether they win this thing or not, this will be a run that is remembered for a long, long time. Long time. All right, so uh, next opponent will be the 11 seed Loyola Chicago Ramblers, who have had a very miraculous run themselves. They have beaten a lot of good teams on their way here. They did avoid Kentucky. They did avoid Virginia, Arizona, Cincinnati. They avoided a lot of good teams. They did beat Tennessee. They were the three seed. There. So it's not like they haven't played anybody. Um. Anyways, the game will be Saturday at 6.09, TBS at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Um, it will be the first game. The second game will be Villanova and Kansas. I'll get into that a little bit later. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves because this is a very, good, very, very, very good team. Can't get ahead of ourselves with them. So, the keys for this game. They have, a, they have a kid named Clayton Custer. He's their point guard, and he's what makes everything happen. Now, when I watch them play, I know he's he's a pretty good scorer, and they got some other good scorers in their teams. But it really starts when they get to the rim and they kick out, and they've gotten a lot of big shots getting to the rim and kicking out. Now, I think for us, this is a, I think it's a good matchup. I mean, either team can win. I'm very worried going into this game because Loyola is hot. But Custer, the, he's been able to get by other guys. In this tournament and get to the rim and kick out 
first of all, if he gets by someone, you cannot help off. You can't. You cannot help off your one pass away because they're gonna get a three and they're gonna get going. If Custer gets to the rim, if Custer, I don't believe he's gonna get by Simpson or Rockman very often. He hasn't faced a group of guards that are that quick this far in this tournament. So I'm hoping that's a that's a big part of this game for Michigan, is being able to stay with Clayton Custer and other guys on the perimeter. Also, uh, gotta stay focused. This is they're an 11 seed, but. They've made a big run, and you can't underestimate this team. This has really been the same thing with a lot of these other teams so far in this tournament. Have to stay focused. Can't underestimate them. i uh, got to feed Mo Wagner. A lot of times in that Florida State game, we did have Wagner open on the post, and they just didn't want to go to him. I don't know why, but when he gets going, the, there's really nobody that could beat us, so we got to get him going. And really, just, hopefully, we're able to put this game away if he gets going, I think we will be able to. But if not, this could be a long night. This is not going to be a cakewalk. So my pick is going to be Michigan over Loyola in a close one. 65-60, to 60, Loyola does play good defense. But I think Michigan's defense will be able to hold them together for another win and hopefully another shot on national title. Um, the other game is Villanova and Kansas. That setting up to be one of the classics. Villanova is the better team. Kansas will have the best player on the court with Devontae Graham. But I am going to pick Villanova in that game one way or another. Whether Michigan wins or not, I think Villanova um, is going to beat Kansas. I will be back Monday prior to the national title game, whether Michigan wins or does not win. I'll be back previewing the national title game and going and Maybe previewing Michigan, maybe pre maybe going back over their season, but hopefully they get another shot at the national title. Um, thank you for watching.